This lesson is for week one, lesson four. So the subject of this lesson is adding and subtracting functions, um, which is really, really easy um, as long as you, number one, recognize some new notation. So notice on problem number one here, you've been given two different functions. There's an F function and a G function. And then down here, it's asking you to add them up. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. Here is the F function. I'm gonna add that to the G function, which literally just means combining like terms, right? So I'm gonna combine that X with that 5X and I'm gonna put it in descending order. So um, I'm gonna have this term come first. I'm gonna have the X's come next. And I'm gonna have this constant term come last. That's what the functions added up looks like. Now, let me scoot this up a bit. For number two, again, notice You've given two functions. This time you are subtracting, okay? It's not that difficult as long as you remember to write them in parentheses first so that you can distribute the negative. So let me, let me do that. Let me distribute that negative. And now when I go to combine some like terms, which in this case is these two constant terms, and I put my answer in descending order, I end up with negative n squared plus 3n minus 3. All right, now these last two problems I'm not going to actually do. I just want to show you that there is a different way to write it, and it means the same thing. So if you see notation like this, it still means add up the g and h functions, right? They give you the functions. It's just asking you to add them up, all right? And then number four, Again, I'm not doing this problem, but I just want you to see this notation. It's telling you take the g function, right? Take this function first, subtract the h function. The order does matter, and don't forget to distribute the negative.